when you log in, so when you log in in the uh, in the beginning, and you log in onto your computer, if you decide that you're always going to use this computer and nothing else, you will not be asked to enter enter that code in the OTP code or the security code that you were, that was sent to your email. It, it should, this system will keep you logged in the entire time. However, if you log on this computer right now, and then I decide to log in my other computer um, the next day, that new when I log into the new computer, it will ask me for a new security code unless I use that link. But if I want to come back again to this computer, it won't let me log in. I mean, I mean, it won't let me see the screen. It will ask me to log in again. So I can't flip back and forth between computers without logging in again. So you will be asked the security code each time. But if you stay logged in on one computer without logging out, you should not be asked that security code again. Okay. Now, if there's any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Anuj, thank you for the uh, very good presentation. I think uh, the questions on the chat uh, came in or answered through chat, but a couple of them were, what is the play button on top of our main e-lobby, the triangle that is next to the bell? Yep. Uh, so this, yep. So this is the button that everyone's talking about. There is a play button over there. It's a square, um, a rectangular box with two, different lines on top of it. So this is a tutorial area. So everything that I've gone through right now, there's a more condensed version um, that's on YouTube that we put. We're gonna click that button right now and you can see there's various different videos that take you through all different sections of the platform. Um, it takes you from an introduction to the actual platform on how to log in, um, how, what are the options on the main, main site or basically the e-lobby you can go through how to find different schedule sessions, how to donate to Jaina, how to access a souvenir book, how to join a session in the main auditorium, how to join a session in the breakout rooms, how to watch on-demand sessions, how to darshan in the e-temple, how to visit the exhibition hall, or how to get more help. For instance, how to, meaning how do we, how to get to the help desk, read the FAQs um, to get more answers, or even speak to a live chat person via the chat room is available. Uh, and the way we, we activate this is you can click on the video or you can play them all by just clicking the button over here. I also suggest if you haven't done that, done so already, but um, subscribe to the Jaina channel as well. well. One of the other things I should mention so that you can get more information is we also have something called a convention pulse. Um, this is an email that was sent out to all registered, um, everyone who's registered. Um, and what this is, is you can join a WhatsApp chat group that the Jaina team has been sending messages out on. Um, and what it does is it'll send you information on the platform. It'll send you information that's, that's pertinent to this convention. Um, so this is an easy way to get a great deal of information actually. Um, and it's very fast. Um, if you have not received this email, check your junk mail. They may have gone there, but if you still have not, please contact us at the help desk and we can definitely work on getting you um, this email so you can join one of the, uh, um, the WhatsApp convention pulse group, uh, rooms. One other thing, no, we already went through that actually. Okay, any other questions stages by? Sure. I mean, a couple of common questions that how long this uh, session videos will be available after the convention? Yes. Yeah, so the sessions for the uh, speakers will be in the, once, they, once the speaker is presented, those sessions will end up in the on-demand area down here. So you'll be able to see them throughout the convention uh, in the on-demand area at your, at your time, at your discretion. Once the convention is over, you will have two more weeks to access this site, uh, after which the, the site will no longer be active and you won't be able to log in. So you have two more weeks left after the convention ends. Thank you. Another question uh, came in that can we watch this uh, uh, session videos on our TV or a bigger screen? 
yes, you can definitely watch this on your TV on a bigger screen. Um, one of the ways we can do that is let's go to the main auditorium. And I'll show you the, uh, since this is the session that's ongoing with, with me in it right now, we'll join that session. Uh, and then in here on the bottom, you can see there's a button to maximize it. And then there should also be, interesting. I don't see it in here right now. We'll have to look into what happened with the button in here, but you should be able to cast it. Um, you can maximize it on your screen. So it'll show up as a, a large picture. And I'm gonna minimize that back down. Um, let me go to the on-demand section. look at peace through purification of aura. So you should see a button that's like this on the side, on the bottom right. And when you click that button, you'll be able to cast that to your TV. But you need to have a device that you can cast to. For instance, um, you need to have either Chromecast or Apple TV, one of those two devices. That's, that's usually what you can cast your, your whatever video is playing here to, um, to that device on your TV. Thank you. Another common question is how many devices we can simultaneously watch the sessions on? So technically you can only watch it on one device at a time. So if you're logged into uh, the, uh, through your computer on here, you'll be able to watch it on your computer. If you cast it, you'll be able to watch it on our TV, but you can't open this session up on this computer, meaning this encounter and open it up on a second computer. You can only, on one registered email, can only open up one session. Thank you. Uh, another set of common question is coming is, do we need to register for each and every sessions that are being scheduled? No, you don't need to register for each of the sessions. Um, what you have, what you can do is, because um, you already registered for the convention, you just have to be able to uh, navigate through the platform and go to the room that you want to go into. Um, so there's the main auditorium, the breakout rooms, the Jane Academic Bowl. Um, you just have to enter into the room that you want to enter in, uh, meaning that you want to see see the uh, the um, that uh, the speaker or the presentation or or whatever the event is going on. Some of the rooms do have a capacity. Um, and if the room does reach capacity, uh, then it may not, uh, you may not be able to enter into that room, um, but the capacity is pretty high. So uh, there's a good chance that, that you, will, you will still be able to enter in without a problem. Thank you. Uh, another, uh, just to let everyone know, we have a great uh, team who is uh, supporting this sessions and most of the question we will be supporting through the chat at this point and the chat is available on your screen when you're watching uh, Anuj Bhai can show where the chat can be accessed during the session that will help you if you need a question arise. Okay, so the chat room is available on the right side. It's when you click that button, that arrow, that opens up this chat room right here. And then you could put your question in um, right in this area. And if you want to close the chat room, you just click the uh, that arrow again, and that will close the chat room, bring it down into this area. Um, one thing I, I remember was asked, will, will I be able to speak to or ask questions to the speaker or the presenter? Um, there are some chat rooms that, some sessions that this um, chat room will be active on, and there will be some chat rooms where the sessions will not be active on. So if the chat room is open uh, for, uh, for that particular speaker, they will, we will do our best to collect the questions um, and have the speaker respond back, but it may not be right away. Um, for those uh, chat rooms where the, set, the chat room is not active, um, unfortunately, we won't, they won't be able to take any questions there. Thank you. And again, regarding the chat, the question is, is there a way to talk to the members of the booth that they visit on the phone or only chat option available for booth? as well. Yep, you actually have both options. 
So let's go back to this one right here. So as you can see down here on the left, you have an option to call them up. There is a phone number there. However, if you look down here, there's a few different buttons. You have one where you can chat in public. So if you click that, everyone will be able to see the, the chats that are the messages that are going through. However, if you want to chat with them in private, you can click that button and this will be only between you and the booth member. And there's also an option to call them. So you do have that option as well to, to speak to them directly over the phone. Okay. Thank you. Uh, another question is uh, if, if a user starts a session on one device and then can the can it be transferred to another device if they decide to move or switch the device? So not directly, meaning you can't transfer the, the session from, meaning this session that I'm, run, I'm doing right now, or uh, what you guys are watching, you won't be able to transfer that directly from this computer to the next computer. The way you can do that is go to your new computer or a new device, log in. It'll log you out of this the session you're in right now, meaning the, the device you're in right now, and it'll log you into the new one. And then you have to just go to the the, uh, the room, like the main auditorium or one of the breakout rooms or somewhere else, and just go back into that room again. And that, that'll open the uh, session back up. But you won't be able to transfer directly from computer to computer or from phone to phone. You just have to go back, log in, and, and then do it. Thank you. Can you explain the schedule times and the time zone associated with it? Yes. So. When you go to the schedule, let's go to this area right here. You can see these are scheduled in the morning, correct? But these are all in PST time for me. And the reason why they're in PST time is because I'm located in Arizona and I'm following Pacific Standard Time right now. Now these timings right here will be updated to whatever time zone you're in. So this timing actually follows your time, meaning where you are located. So let's say you're located in uh, the East Coast, either New Jersey, Florida, Georgia, you know, somewhere down in those areas, then just add, you don't even need to add anything. These times will come up at, at your time zone schedule time. So even though I'm seeing 755 here, someone on the East Coast will see the same session that's listed over here at, it'll be at 1155. Sorry, 1055, I apologize, not, not 11, it'll be 1055. Um, so, or, or the 430 will start at 730 um, and it will be shown at 730 over here. So it will follow in whatever time zone you're located. If you're in India, it will show you in India time over here. So that's, so it won't show you my time, it'll show you your time and what time you can watch it. Thank you. Another clarification question is, is there a, uh, two members of the same uh, family can watch sessions at a different locations? Um, yes and no. So if you, you, if you register with one email address, you can only log into one device. So you'll have to both watch the same session from the same device at the same time. If you register with two separate email addresses, then you can log in via your email address and the other person can log in with the, their email address on a different device, then you can watch in different locations and different sessions. So for, so you have to have your own registration, your own login um, in order to access a session that you wanna watch, unless you're, you're sharing and you're watching the same stuff, same, same program or same sessions. Uh, one thing you wanna keep in mind is that if you're planning to register, I suggest doing it today as soon as you can, Today's the last day, the, the registration is for $15. After that, it will increase to 25 from tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, it, the question came about the uh, Tirth uh, Yatra videos. Are there any schedule associated with those uh, videos for people to watch? So the Tirth Yatra videos are gonna be, um, they're, uh, they're gonna be presented on each day. They're actually built into the evening sessions. Um, so let's go down here. Um, I'm just looking for it. Science and Hollywood dance. So they're, they're usually built in. We're still working on uploading some of the sessions. Um, so right here, you have the uh, day one Arthi and Mangaldivo. 
Um, you have the opening ceremony keynote, Jaina Ratna Awards presentation. So we do have the Tirth Yatra that's going to be built into these sessions over here as well. Um, go to day three. So I'll provide a little more clarification on this after, but we, we do have Tirth Ayatra videos that are going to be presented each evening. Okay, thank you. Um, questions coming in terms of the mobile app. On the mobile app, there is an uh, also is asked for event code. Can you clarify that that is an optional entry? We don't have to use it. Can you repeat the question one more time? It is about the mobile app where it asks for an event code for uh, attendees to enter or it is an optional. Can you explain that? Um, the event code, um, that when you log in, it should be able to log you directly into the event itself. Um, I'll have to look into what the event code is. We'll have to ask uh, Safan. As he's yeah, one of the it, is, it is an optional it is an optional thing it just have to members have to just use their email address to log in okay there we have the answer okay uh, I think that pretty much covers most of the questions that I'm seeing on the chat right now so just to come back to Tirth Yatra let me um, do a search and we can look for just, just the word day once this thing loads. And then when you hit day, you have the day one Arthi and Mangaliva program. And the Tirth Yatra is built into that. Day two, you have Tirth, Darshan, and Arthi. Day three, you have the Tirth, Darshan, Bhakti, and Arthi program. Um, so you can see the scheduled times for them as well. Um, and so they're scheduled based on the, the day itself, as you can see. Any other questions come through? No, we, if, I mean, since we have a little time, can you re explain them the help desks available and how they can reach to the help desk team for any support they need? Yes. So for additional questions, any support you need, any support that you need, uh, or you need help from us from, in the bottom right here on the e-lobby, there is a help desk. Just click on the help desk right here. and. In, within the help desk, you have the most frequently asked questions. Um, you can go through various different questions uh, to try to get an answer on how, I mean, try to get one of, your, one of your questions answered. Now, there is a possibility that your question may not be here. Um, when your question is not here, you can either email us at helpdesk at janaconvention.org. You can click on the chat right here and then go to the online chat. And over here, you just have to type in um, whatever question you may have, how do I get my son added to the um, kids club, right? So you can just put that in and then someone on the other end will, um, which is one of our tech support team, will respond back to your question. Uh, there may be a little bit of delay in responding back because we are getting a lot of questions, but we're trying to answer them as quick as possible. But we, we will get to your question as well and help you out in, in getting um, whatever you need taken care of. If we're not able to take care of it right away, then we'll let you know as we'll escalate it up to one of our higher level tech support teams. The other way you can find some assistance, again, is by looking on the top right over here. Where, where you have the play button. If you click on that, it'll open up some live, or sorry, some recorded tutorials with um, their, um, which shows a video. Um, they're located on YouTube um, and they'll explain various different um, parts of the actual Lavio platform. Um, you can play them all by clicking the button here or you can go through individual ones by clicking on it here. Okay. This is the e lobby again. Did we have any other questions? No, I think uh, we have addressed uh, majority of the questions that are common uh, for many uh, many attendees. Uh, maybe you can mention that the recording of this video would be available 
for members to watch maybe tomorrow morning. <laughs> so this, this uh, educational session on how to use the Lobby of Platform, along with several of the questions that were asked um, and their answers, everything was recorded. And so we are gonna take this recording and we're gonna put it in the on-demand area. Um, it will take us a little bit of time because we're gonna have to convert everything over and, and put it in that section. Um, so it should be available by tomorrow morning. So if you missed anything or if you joined late, you, you will have another opportunity to see this uh, presentation again. That's, that covers the questions and the request on the chat. Okay. Well, if anyone has, else has any other questions, please feel free to contact us. The help desk is available uh, over here. Um, the hours are listed in there. We're, we're available 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, East Coast time is uh, 9 a.m. to 1, sorry, 9, 9 a.m. to 1 a.m. And India Standard Time is, uh, I believe, from 6 p.m. to, oh, I'm going blank on it. It's listed right up here. It's 6.30 p.m. to 10.30 a.m. Um, so all the times are available over here. And so we will be available to help everyone out. Um, and of course, um, uh, hopefully you guys can use the, uh, the FAQs and the tutorials also to help you. Um, thank you all for joining. Um, and we're here to support you in any way possible. Jay Jinnandar. Um, do we stop streaming? Or are we still streaming live? Yes, um, I thought uh, I thought uh, Narendra wanted to say something. That's why. Um, oh. Narendra, 